Ready? Aim. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you the following special report. A dangerous bear has been sighted. I'm here live at the scene with Farmer Brown, the man who reported seeing a bear. Farmer Brown, can you give us some details? Well, I was out hunting the potatoes when I saw this big shatter go running off through the woods. I couldn't make it out owing to the fact that my glasses just fell off. Anyways, it looked like a bar and it was galloping off in the direction of Kenny's babysitting service. Fire! Snacks? Hot chocolate? Um, um, <gasps> with marshmallows! Ow! Woo! And now we bring you an update on the bear story. It was really a moose on the loose, so you can go back outside now. We return to our regularly scheduled broadcast. No, you can't see that show! Can we go uh, play outside now, Mr. Kitty? No, 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 it's blizzarding! Your point? You'd turn into icicles, your parents would kill me. How would I tell you a story? Um, um, once upon a time, there were two children, and their names were Merrilick and Emkrasai. No, not that one again. We've heard it, though, uh, 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 at least 156 times. Let's make Mr. Kitty tell us a new story. Yes, yes, yes! Okay. Once there was a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> All right, who brought the snowballs inside? <coughs> we want a new story or else I won't like it. And you have to be one of the bad guys. And you have to come to a gruesome end as is fitting for all bad guys. All righty. Um, let me think. Okay, here we go. Once upon a time, Kitty Cone was walking along doing evil deeds when he suddenly tripped over a rock and fell on his head and died. Not, Not gruesome enough! enough. Uh, this is going to be harder than I thought. Um, okay, here we go again. Are they in place? Yes. Now. Find those cone wielders, and remember, we want them alive. Surrender your powers, cone wielders. Stop her! Up there! Guards, shoot arrows! Don't let her escape! Enough! Tell you this, but they've all gone on a picnic in the woods, and I don't know when they'll be back. But we have to help the cone wielders. I'll help, and my brother Malfoy will too. Summondale, are you volunteering me again? Yes. Have you found your book of knowledge yet? No. I cannot believe that I've misplaced it. It must have been right after I looked up the definitions of phantasmagorical. And I've looked everywhere, and oh, here it is. 
Ouch! Summondale, come help me! A box just fell on my head! Uh, I'll be right there! And don't worry, we'll save the wielders of cones. We'll go out the back way. Want to see what Mouse Ox taught me yesterday? Sure! Great emphasize, but I don't see much use in it. Well, how about this? Boost tracks! Dear Stella and Marilla Kanim Krasai, an unfortunate incident has occurred. Narayan, Alia, and Kalith, the wielders of waffle, sugar, and kitty cones, have been attacked by an unknown enemy. As you are not here, we have gone to help them immediately. Don't worry if we don't return in a year or so, as Malfak is going to try to find his body while we're at it. Sincerely, Simon Dale. You've been watching I Sunday 2, a production of Phantom Moose Films. Be sure to tune in next time for part 2. And visit us at phantommoose.com to go behind the scenes of I Sunday 2. Thanks for watching.